this one is another change where we, we're talking about hermetic sealing here, basically, uh, where you have difference in temperature from one location to another. And the former language in 300.7a basically said that the, the, whatever you use to seal the fitting, and this is not an explosion proof seal by any means, but it is something that previously said it had to be approved for the use and with cable insulation or the conductor insulation. I mean, the main issue here is that we don't damage the conductor or the cable insulation with whatever we use to put in the, uh, to seal the cold air and warm air from, from mixing with each other. So they say identified for the use, which is more appropriate. For example, duct seal is just one product. There's several other ones out there that would be acceptable for that purpose. Uh, that is identified for use around conductors or, or cable insulation. And what it really is looking at is, is not having somebody go down to a hardware store or a do-it-yourself store and pick up a can of uh, insulating foam or some type of uh, silicon sealant that doesn't uh, take into consideration the fact that it's gonna be in contact with uh, the conductor insulation or, uh, or a non-metallic jacket of some sort. Generally, we're talking about conductor insulation in these cases. So in this illustration, well done by IAEI, uh, shows the, in this case, the raceway coming in from the outside where you've got the evaporator fans inside of a walk-in freezer, a refrigerator or chest uh, unit and or, or some type of unit. Uh, some that are accessible just from the front. And you've got a raceway coming in from either a warm to a cold area. Uh, of course, in my part of the country up in the Northeast, you might almost have equal temperatures at certain times of the year in the winter. But nevertheless, it, it keeps uh, a separation between the warm and cold air, which uh, has a tendency to create condensation and bring introduce water into the equipment. A, a lot of times you, you're also coming into the, the top of this unit, even if the, con, if the condenser was even inside the building, which it typically isn't. But if it happened to be even coming in through the top of the unit down into these evaporator fans or the lighting, for example, within the cooler, if it's a walk-in type, is you're gonna have also cold, uh, your mixed air of cold and warm air there. And a lot of times folks will just LB down into the top of the enclosure and fill the uh, LB with duct seal uh, where the part that goes down into the enclosure or some other approved sealant or uh, identified sealant. You know, the, the, the term approved in the National Electrical Code means acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction as it's defined in Article 100. So certainly saying that something that's identified to be in contact with the cable insulation or the conductor insulation, et cetera, uh, is much more appropriate for this section than referring it all back to the authority having jurisdiction.